So hello and welcome to Last Warriors channel. In today's episode of Variant Post I will demonstrate you how my new setup works for, well, retro gaming for that matter. And uh, as you have seen before my voice started, uh, the assembly part of uh, this sort of setup is very simple and easy. And here you can see in this backdrop footage, uh, you can see that uh, I've already ordered and they already arrived my RCE splitters. I've got two for just one pound with a free delivery from eBay from China. So that was pretty good and uh, you supposedly can't hear any noise. That's not because my uh, magic console somehow magically uh, in a mysterious way uh, started to work. But you know, just with OBS you have a filter that allows you uh, to cut some static noise off. And uh, if that's just one particular uh, frequency, one sort of pattern, then it does it pretty effectively. I still can hear it on playback, but uh, for recording or streaming that works alright. And I was in fact streaming yesterday, uh, Saturday, this uh, past Saturday, and uh, it was pretty successful stream. A uh, few folks joined, even Palaventris and Viso and Zatexpeki and some random guy from Turkey, uh, thanks to that country as well. Uh, so I at some point had uh, four or five viewers, so that was pretty nice and everything worked out perfectly. Uh, maybe uh, the sound balance wasn't super perfect, but for recording obviously I have separate channels and now let's illustrate it with uh, maybe some game. You have seen me play in uh, 1942, but this time around let's continue it with the uh, actual sound, right? Let's start. Yeah, nice game. At least uh, I can live for uh, more than a couple minutes in it. Obviously video quality is not ideal, but it's not uh, an episode about video quality. It's kind of acceptable. You can see what's going on. In that matters way more than everything else. That's real live hardware, even though it's cloned hardware, but still pretty nice. As good as I can get. And uh, for better video, I could actually stick to just emulator. So yeah, it's kind of amusing how uh, folks in China uh, can produce something, manufacture something for just one pound, two pieces of these splitters, uh, two uh, items, and then give you free shipping and still they manage uh, to get some kind of profit out of that. Or in Belarus you have to pay like two bucks and, and something just to get uh, one. A splitter cable of that kind and then you may be not able to get it <laughs> in every shop so it's kind of hard to find this for me in Osha so yeah thanks to eBay and thanks to uh, Chinese manufacturers which make our lives easier you just have to keep in mind that uh, the quality of your item is uh, kinda limited by the price. So you can't expect perfect quality from uh, very cheap stuff, which is uh, much cheaper than it's supposed to be. Usually there are trade-offs, but with uh, cable splitters that's not a real problem. Because they are indeed cheap to manufacture, there's not much into it like a piece of plastic, tiny piece of wiring and a little bit of aluminium or something like that for the connectors. Thanks for watching and see you later. Maybe I'll stream more something of like this.